Today is National Wear Red Day. Let's start with Simona in traffic. Yeah, good morning. Roxia, Jen, wearing your best red to bring attention to uh, National Wear Red Day. It's all about women's heart health this morning, but the campaign does not stop there. The entire month of February, health leaders are focusing on heart disease and women. Here to talk about this very important issue is Betsy Hart. She is the CEO of Dignity Health Northridge and chair of the Go Red for Women movement in Los Angeles. And Cindy Mafu is here to share her story of survival with us. Thank you both so much for being here. Joining us to raise awareness about cardiovascular health is a UCLA health cardiologist, Dr. Mega. Agarwal and a mother of three who has survived 13 heart attacks. Mm. Uh, uh, Toshawa oh, Andrews is here as well. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for coming. Good in. morning. Thank you. Thank you. Cuatro de cada diez mujeres hispanas mayores de 20 años viven con algún tipo de problema cardíaco. Hoy es el día nacional de vestirse de rojo y es una iniciativa que pues el American Heart Association introdujo para promover la lucha contra las enfermedades del corazón y derrames cerebrales en las mujeres. Celebramos el Día Nacional de Vestir de Rojo. Gracias Marco, ya veo a Marcos, a Sandra, a nosotras vistiendo de rojo con una muy buena causa. Y es que el mes de febrero es un recordatorio para las enfermedades cardiovasculares, causa principal de muerte en las mujeres y por eso hay que estar bien informado. Go Red for Women. Today is National Wear Red Day to raise awareness for heart disease, which is the number one killer of women. And the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women movement is working to make sure women everywhere take action to protect their heart health. Sarah Pila is live at Dignity Health in Northridge with more. Are you wearing your red too there? Or at least a red there you go, sports bra girl. <laughs> I'm here at Dignity Health with Dr. Soleil, who's a cardiologist here. Good morning. Good morning. And I'm undergoing a stress test on this treadmill. Here to tell us how to take charge of our heart health is Dr. Carolyn Kalustian, an executive director at the American Heart Association of Los Angeles, Linda Sai. The American Heart Association is celebrating its 100th birthday this year. Congratulations. Thank how has the fight against cardiovascular disease changed in the last century? So much. We are so excited about our 100th birthday. But 100 yeah. years ago, heart disease was a death sentence. There was no treatment and no hope. One of our founders called it a time of unbelievable ignorance mm -hmm. about heart disease. And so fast forward 100 years, and here we are, more than half of people with heart disease survive. Yeah. We've, we've reduced the heart disease death rate by half. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, because of research, because yeah. of treatments. And so when you look back at what we now come to understand about heart mm -hmm. disease, most of that can be traced back, yeah. traced to the work of the American Heart Disease. Definitely wearing red and supporting. <laughs> Thank Do you. It. And for more information, just head on over to heart.org. Do you want to tell me about your story? So I was at the doctor and they were stitching my heart and then I got better. That's awesome. I was three days old when I had my heart surgery. And so it was like stories I would hear from my family. And I just had this scar, right? So it was like, I didn't remember it, but I had this scar. Do you have a scar? Oh my God, it's so cool. Look at mine. Now I'm, I'm a little older, so it, so it's faded a little. You know what they call them? Yeah. Sometimes they call it a zipper. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so special because not everybody has something like that. And it's literally a badge to show everybody how brave and what you've overcome. And what a warrior you are. Thank you.
thrilled to be here. You know, I feel like art is the true expression of oneself and to view myself as a creator, I'm honored to be here at the 29th LA Art Show. And tonight we are celebrating a very special milestone. It is the American Heart Association's 100th birthday. And at the HA, we believe that every person deserves an opportunity for a full and healthy life. And that's why for a hundred years, we have saved and improved lives from cardiovascular diseases and stroke, helping people just like you and those you love. Our vision for our second century is to advance health and hope for everyone everywhere. At 12 days old, she had her first surgery. At six months old, she had her second surgery. And at four years old, she had her third surgery. Um, looking at Chandler, you would never know that she's had three open heart surgeries. She plays baseball, she does dance, and she's now in kindergarten. So if you had a friend or someone who's going through a tough time like a heart surgery, do you have any words of advice that you'd like to tell them? It's okay to be scared and be brave be kind, and you can hold your mom's hand. Thank you all so much for being here. Your support makes the work of this organization possible so we can all live longer and healthier lives.